Hello and welcome to the COC. I'm your host, Andrew Carvin. This is mostly unscripted and unedited. Uh, today I would like to talk to you about the Kato, or Kaito, however you pronounce it, SB-1059 Mini Hand Crank AM FM Weather Radio, uh, which uh, works off of solar power and dynamo power, meaning you can hand crank it. Uh, I got the black one. Uh, it also comes in green. I was kind of hoping that they would have a yellow, but they don't, but that's okay. I got this particular item because we need a backup radio uh, that works. <laughs> our uh, our present emergency radio doesn't work very well at all. Uh, it uh, Our present emergency radio lasts like maybe a like maybe a minute off of a minute of cranking which is really poor uh, it's absurdly poor in fact it's uh, it's almost why bother even having a crank just put batteries in it kind of poor uh, so that obviously need to be replaced but I also wanted to have a radio that I could take with me outside uh, I have had uh, previous radios to take with me outside uh, because it, it makes work easier. Um, having music in the background just keeps my mind occupied well enough that I don't realize how boring what I'm doing out there is and makes it that much easier to continue to work on the boring shit that I'm doing out there uh, when it comes to um, chores around the yard like fixing the fence or building crap or whatever it happens to be doing music helps in other words it just helps to have music out there with me and it's all, it would be nice to have a radio uh, that is able to take care of itself to a certain extent uh, this ha this radio is solar powered uh, it can power itself both on sunlight as well as dynamo power so it's perfect for both emergency uses uh, in extreme weather situations as well as um, being a radio that I have out there with me in the yard so I don't have to worry about swapping out batteries constantly it'll just sit there in the sunlight and charge itself up and continue to play music and happy yes uh, and it's small it's a very small radio uh, it's, it's, well, look at the battery. That's how small it is. That, that battery is there for size comparisons. So it's, a, it's a radio that I could easily take around with me, uh, stuff in my pocket, my shirt pocket, and have it with me wherever I happen to be, and not have to worry about it taking up a lot of space. Uh, I could set it on wherever there's a spare patch of anything and have it nearby playing music so um, AM FM plus uh, NOAA weather band radio uh, no battery needed which is ideal for emergency applications because you can power it via solar or power it b via dynamo power uh, charged by solar panel or hand crank uh, compact size with built-in speaker uh, battery in pictures is for size reference only um, so again another plus um, if I have a radio with me out in the yard I don't want it taking up a lot of space I also don't want it to be a chore trying to lug it around for to from location to location I mean I don't know if I will have it in my shirt pocket but if I do have it in my shirt pocket I wouldn't want it dragging my shirt off of me and yeah uh, so that's the, here's one picture of it. Here's the back with the crank, the side with the AM, FM, and weather band, and the tuner, and the volume, which also acts as the on and off, and also a headset jack. So if you if you wanted to listen to it with a, a headset, you can. Comes with a 90-day manufacturer's warranty. Uh, but it has really high ratings. It's like 44 of its 66 ratings are 5 stars, so that's roughly about 75% uh, 
of the people who own this radio give it a perfect score. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, again, they, they do have a green one. Uh, it doesn't differ at all in terms of in terms of you know what it is so if you like the green better it's kind of like a dark green not like neon green again it would have been nice if they had a, a yellow uh, but they don't they have black and green but that's okay because from from what I see yeah 87 customer reviews uh, 56 of them gave it a perfect five stars so solar panel works good on top of the radio and if you leave it in the sun to listen to it you really don't have to worry about cranking it the sun will take care of it so that that goes back to what I said I don't want to have to worry about batteries I just want it to work uh, and since I don't have to plug it in it works wherever I am uh, I don't have to worry about running extension cords or some crap like that. And obviously, you know, one of the advantages that this has over, say, like an MP3 player is that it's it's mostly speaker. Um, you have a good sound quality coming from a small device uh, without sacrificing sound quality, if that makes any sense. I mean, I, I can't play my music on it, unfortunately, uh, but I can play uh, whatever radio station I happen to tune into and not have to worry about constantly feeding it batteries, uh, screwing around with extension cords, and just cart it around the yard with me, wherever I happen to be, and just sit down, clunk. And if it's in the sunlight, it'll charge itself. If it's not in the sunlight, I hear... I've seen from the reviews it has really good uh, crank response time so you can crank this thing up and it runs forever but uh, you don't have to take my word for it let's try the radio out alright so here's the radio this is the box it comes in so pretty simple packaging it's very easy to open so you just pop this thing open and there you go, there's the radio. Has some bubble wrap, has some instructions. Uh, <laughs> one page of instructions. So, again, a uh, very simple op radio to operate. Let's see. They got the radio. There we go. There's film on top of the solar panel. Obviously, you want to take that off somehow. Okay, there we go. Try not to put my fingernails on the solar panel. And there you have it. It's a cute little radio. Uh, the antenna extends. Uh, good height. Naturally, the more antenna you have, uh, the more likely you are to get a station. Um, here's the radio tuner dial on this side. And then the selector for AM, FM, and weather band. Here is the crank, uh, which you'll be using if you can't get it in sunlight. And here's the volume and here's the radio jack and the front of it is taken up by a really nice sized speaker so let's crank it a little as you can see as I'm cranking it it lights up to indicate hey you're charging me thank you for the juice and you crank this however long you want for the purposes of this video, that's probably enough. Good use. At a girl. Thank you, Darla. So that's our first, our first, um, let's see what, let's see what time this was taken. Hang on. Do, 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 so it's really clear. Do, do, do. I'm glad I was able to find something I could actually play for you. That's good news because...
because I kept tuning in to music on accident. And I know YouTube will shit a brick if I try and put that on. I'm in a metal trailer. And I'm still getting really good reception on this thing. So, that's awesome. Yeah, and this kind of performance only God, from Julio, a you, minute or two of winding it up. So, pretty cool. Awesome. Let's just challenge employees at Fort Campbell and um, veterans yes. to make a donation Winkle. today and becoming a dream maker. Thank you, Thank you. Kevin. Now I'm going to see if I can get it set up to show Thank you the you. solar part. Dream maker and challenging so ball hang on. Ball coaches. So there you go. Another all right, it's kind of hard to see because it's just a tiny little lead right there. Um, hopefully you can see it in this video. Um, but yeah, the solar portion is working too. Uh, you might have to prime it, like wind it up for a minute first to get it going. Because there's no telling how long the bat this thing's been in storage before you receive it. But yeah, it's, it is definitely working. It's receiving power from the sun. It's actually uh, fairly overcast today because there's... Well, snow everywhere. Uh, so it's actually doing pretty good considering how little um, sunlight we're actually getting right now. It's light out, but I mean, there's not like direct beaming down sunlight to melt all this crap. So, yeah, it's a great little uh, radio. Um, can be powered by the sun, can be powered by a crank. Uh, has a really nice speaker on it, a uh, really nice tuner, um, volume, all that stuff. So if you have this uh, with you in the yard, whether you're powering up via crank, if you're working at night or something, or overcast day, uh, or during the summer months, you can have it powered up by uh, the sun. And... Uh, it's a great little radio. I fully recommend getting it. But anyway, this has been the ZOC. I'm going to get back inside before I freeze my ass off and uh, buy this radio. It's a really good purchase. Uh, you, I'm quite sure that you'll be very happy with it. It's a great little radio to have around with you. That uh, you don't have to worry about changing on batteries because you can crank it up or you can power it via the sun. So even on an overcast day, it's still getting some power right there. See? Well, anyway, this has been the ZOC. I'm getting back inside. See you on the next video. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions, and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching and happy wandering.